Kristen. Hey. I see that. Hello, Cinnamon. How are you? We're live. Cinnamon, hello. Hi, Cinnamon. So, yes, welcome, everybody. Let us know when you're here. Say hello when you come in. So we know you're here. We will talk for a few and give it a few minutes for people to get in. So what's up, Robert? What's up with you these days? Well, I've been uh, learning how to make movies with intros. And the last one I made, the, the music wasn't uniform. So now I have to go back to learn garage band. And But in the meantime, you know, I can still get on and uh, get to do uh, off the cuff stuff. But I, did I have get a, no idea. But I do you have, have to a, teach me. Oh, sorry, Robert. <laughs> that's okay. Hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I posted a video about what I was thankful for. And so I hope everyone is thankful. Absolutely. We may have some difficult times, but we've been through them before. So I'm going to Sandy, Carla. I'm going to do a uh, probably a one hour auction, maybe an hour and a half. Um, I have some things coming in the mail, but the holidays kind of slowed it all down. So what would everyone like to see? Uh, gifts for men. Jewelry, sterling silver, um, cabochon, making supplies. I did advertise your coins too. I so, did. I have a few. So whatever you want to start with, but uh, we'll start with some coins. All righty. We don't have a whole lot of people in yet, so we'll give it a couple of minutes. But um, if you want to start with something, you might as well if you want to, or we can just talk for a few minutes. Well, how was your old Thanksgiving? Mine was great. Hi, Joanne. I had turkey with Excuse all the me. trimmings. Oh, we did too. Everything. And We're going to have a ton of leftovers for a month. <laughs> <laughs> I made well, everybody eat leftovers today. I wasn't getting up there for no. The one no thing that dinner. never left over is pumpkin pie. I eat that first. <laughs> oh, that's gone. Yep, the guys demolished the pumpkin. I think the apple might be gone now, too. <laughs> wow. And there's only like, what, four or five of you in the house? <laughs> Bob and James just, they started before Thanksgiving. The night before Thanksgiving, they were eyeing the pies. I said, oh, it's only us. You can eat the pies if you want. So they haven't stopped till they're gone. <laughs> I think we should have a pie holiday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know, but right? With the uh, hot apple Nothing pie with vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. Oh, they're Nothing doing it up. pies. Sounds like a... I agree. Hi, Joanne. What I want is an all dessert restaurant. Now they have one of those in Washington, D.C. When me and my son went to D.C. for a week to go visit all the Smithsonian's a couple of summers ago, like when he would be home for college break during the summer, we would always take a trip somewhere for a week. And one year we did um, just as a reward for him having a good year at school. So we did D.C. one year, and they had a dessert restaurant down there that they served nothing oh but my desserts. Oh, goodness. Can you imagine? Yeah, they make their own chocolate. So, of oh. course, they made their own chocolate candies, and they did, like, a five-course dessert meal. Oh, my God. I left there, like, in high. <laughs> definitely <laughs> high on chocolate. Talking more I, than you do. Yeah. <laughs> We had one like sort of like that here, but unfortunately it was gone after about two years. But I really want another all dessert restaurant. Oh, well, we have a uh, or had a cheesecake factory here. And I don't know if you all have heard of that, but uh, yeah, they yes, have. I have, Robert. That's a great place. I forgot I'm about bad. the cheesecake, was gone yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we had a strawberry cheesecake too, Robert. Oh, they I'm, have the loose I'm, I'm guessing. 
<laughs> I was afraid to taste it the first time because I knew I'd fall in love with it. Mm -hmm. I forgot so all good. about that cheesecake. I did get a little sliver of that. I think we have um, like a half a pumpkin pie left in there, too. We had just way too many desserts. Um, uh, one of my patients bakes the best pound cake. Oh. Like her pound cakes are like, they're the best. And she always brings them whenever she comes in. So on holidays, she always brings me um, a white and a chocolate. And oh, my God. Okay. So we started on those before Thanksgiving. But I know. Yeah, pound cake games. made me the man I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> you used no to be dessert. That's the thing. <laughs> Not even pumpkin or sweet potato oh, pie. No. We have to have the pies. Yeah. Hi, Diane. How are you, honey? Pumpkin's my favorite. Oh, cinnamon. That's brutal. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Diane. Spectacular. <laughs> so, well, I'm glad everybody, it sounds like everybody pretty much enjoyed their holiday, even though they did not get to travel. I know there's a couple of people because of oh, that yeah. that spent it alone, and but they made the best out of it. Um, we, enjoyed, we enjoyed it very much. Yeah, so hopefully this time next year, now with this vaccine coming out, um, we can get back to normal holidays. <laughs> Kids can go trick-or-treating and we can have um, family for Thanksgiving and all those kind of things. We were a little hesitant to do that year this year because I'm always afraid to get in too big of a crowd because I don't want to take anything back to my patients. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I tried to avoid the crowd. So this year we just stayed home. We had gotten a couple of invites to different places, but we decided to just play it safe and stay home with things kicking up around here. A lot of new mm -hmm. cases, but um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Robert. We're getting a few people in now so he can go ahead and get started. You ready, Robert? Uh, yes, I am. All right. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. All right. Party on. Yes, right on. <laughs> what you got, Robert? Well, well, most everyone knows that I do shipping at five dollars uh, overseas. I usually split the difference. Um, my PayPal account is same as my email. So, without further ado, where do we start? Wherever you want. Well, you got the show. How about? A pendant and this one says SS as in sterling silver <laughs> yeah let's hope it's sterling silver I've been watching those movies <laughs> wow they're beautiful, beautiful. Moonstone or a mother of pearl hi I Pamela mother of pearl Thanks looks for coming. Like Looks like a little bit of color flash in there. Yeah, can you see the blue in the bottom? Yeah, it almost looks like a moonstone. Beautiful. It is a moonstone. Oh, oh okay. I thought you said mother of pearl. All righty. Beautiful. Nice beautiful. Nice baby. And because it's the holidays, we'll get started out at 35 to see if anybody's here. Oh, let me get my... Chat. Wow, yeah. look at the setting that that's in. That is so intricate and detailed. Very pretty. Can you see the, Pamela? the blue in it? That is gorgeous. I shipped your stuff today, Pamela, finally. <laughs> All right, any interest at 35 Nice, nice, beautiful pendant and nice price. Yeah, that's a nice big moonstone in there, and it's got some nice flash in it. There's the marking up at the top. Mm -hmm. It's SS. Sterling silver. And I didn't bring my ruler. Oh, I have a big ruler. I don't knock everything in the floor. I want a ring with the big old moonstone in it like that, like Elizabeth's, like a giant moonstone. Well, you can actually take this apart. No. Save the veil. No. That's too pretty to take apart. But that is a very large moonstone, though. That's a nice one. Very pretty. Oh, thank you, Pamela. 
Yeah, I got a little behind, so, um, but I'm completely caught up now, so I feel good that I'm caught up. I'm getting a nice picture of that. I love the decorative outline. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Indeed. I don't see any interest, Robert. We might have to bring it back. I don't mind them being a little cloudy like that on a larger stone. I would rather have it a little cloudy because you can see the color flash in it. I know they're supposed to be more expensive the clearer they are, but I think they're nicer be when they're a little bit cloudy because you can see the flash better. Who would do the same price on this one? This one is marked 925 and it's an agate. I love the outline of that one too. That's pretty. I think All they're right. from the same maker. Oops. Yes, and I love that setting. You know, I had a stone set in a just like that in that same pattern. Very pretty. The hearts around the outside. Kind of a brighten look to it. Not brighten, but no, Jade. Aren't they beautiful settings? I love them. So so delicate. That's a good price for that. Yep, that's a pretty one. Look at the bale on that. Very large bale. Always save the bale. Take the stone out. Create something new. No. <laughs> too no, no. Yeah. That setting is too pretty. Yeah, that's true. Beautiful stone, too. Yes, Pam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, um, we'll bring them back because we only have like 15... 16 people in right now so as more people come in we'll bring things out again but we'll see what the people in here that are in here now are looking for you usually get like four or five hundred views in a couple of days so yeah yeah we do within a couple of days we've got quite a few views this is a one Even of on our time. auctions that surprises me that we get so many views on our auctions after they so. post this is a Byzantine coin. Wow. That's too cool. It's copper. It's got my packing. It's got a 925 on the bottom of it. I've only seen two of these in my life. Is that a casted piece or is that that silver clay stuff or what do they call that stuff? Uh, this <laughs> is a cast. 925 silver. That is an awesome piece, guys. See how that coin is held in? That's a Byzantine coin. Tell them what a Byzantine coin is. I was going to say, where is that from, Robert? Uh, it's from the same time that he was crucified, and this was the coin they were using at the time. Ah, okay. so that's a legit. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. This is what they call. The, the, Thank you, Shirley Ann. I, I mailed it this, mor um, this morning, Shirley Ann. That uh, copper coin in there is called a widow's mite. Oh. They would give that to the wife of some man who'd pet their husband who had passed away. Mm -hmm. And that would pay for the burial. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So where are What's you starting? starting bit? Uh, I'll have to have 50 on this one. Okay. It may not sell tonight, but... Uh, That's awesome, Robert. That's a great piece, though. That's a, that is definitely a one-of-a-kind piece, for sure. If you go history. back to uh, one of my videos on my YouTube channel, I've got a photograph of this that really shows it. Yeah, the coin in it? Yes. Nice history. Yeah. Very nice. Right. Let's see if we can do some more contemporary. We already did the uh, nickels, didn't we? Not tonight. The war nickels? Mm -mm. I didn't do these? No, not tonight. Not tonight. Oh, this is a great collection. Uh, this has silver in it. Got a silver nickel? Yes, silver war nickels. What year, are those the years that nickels were silver? Uh, as you can see here. 
All the 40s. 42 through 40. I always save the 40s nickels when I get them. I used to get a lot of them from vending machines on campus when I was in college. There was always a lot of those 40s nickels for some reason. But I don't I see them really anymore. That's why I hate them all. Uh, the famous wartime silver nickel was a result of the World War II demand because nickel was essential to the military effort. It was removed from U.S. coins from October 42 until the end of 45. It's 35% silver. This is a great educational packet. Mm -hmm. uh, the starting price is uh, $35. Okay. Uh, Shipping is five. Uh, tonight, all shipping will be included. Okay. But these so, are. So free shipping at 35? Five. Oh, so your shipping is five. And if you buy one or two or five, and if okay. you're overseas, I'll split it with you. All right. So cool. that's the front side. And of course, there's Iwo Jima. Yep. And it's a Littleton Coin Company collection, and they will buy these back from you. That's a cool gift for somebody for Christmas that collects coins. How cool is that? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is a good guy gift or a girl gift, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh Experimentation led to a composition of 35% silver, 56% copper, 9% magnesium that had the same electrical resistance as copper nickel. So 42 through 45. You're up on your coins, Robert. I like educational things. Mm-hmm. So that one's available. Uh, I see a U.S. wartime silver nickel set, 1942 to 45 AU 75 on eBay. Mm -hmm. um, there's a World War II nickel set, but the U.S. wartime nickel sets, they're up there. Yes, there's they another one at 150. They're all over the place, but that's a good price for that set, guys, being in the yeah. condition that it's in and coming with that history. These are in very good condition. And they're all there. They're all sealed. Cool. Beautiful. All right. How many people we have in now? We've got 15 still, so... We will uh, just keep going, Robert. We'll get, we'll find something they like till more people come in. It'll take a little while once that notice. I haven't seen the notice pop up yet, so I don't see it either. While. Yeah, once that notice pops up, more people will start coming in. Look at that oh. inlaid carnelian and sterling silver. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. I just got this in this week. It's an eye popper. Yeah, that is. I love the shape of that. And the metal is sterling silver. That's a beauty. Got an open back. Wow. Well, that's really cool how they put the um, silver in that. What's your starting bid on that, Robert? Got to have 50. All righty. That's beautiful. Oh, I really like it. Gosh, that's pretty. Yeah, the shape is nice. It's got the matrix in it. A lot of carnelian, you know, it's just uh, transparent. No yeah. Matrix. I think this makes this one unique. I like the way each little section is different. That's beautiful. Yeah, and you don't find the red as much. Mostly it's the um, the gold tones. 
And Christmas is coming. Yes, indeed. That's a nice Christmas brooch. I mean, that's a nice Christmas pendant. Yep. Put a little green emerald earrings on and you're good to go. Yeah, there's a 48-hour auction going on from what I understand. but Oh, yeah, it's big time. I was up last night at 3 o'clock to support Sandy and... Uh, well, they're gonna pay. They're gonna pay the big bucks over there. They want to buy it over here. That's all right. That's okay. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Sharon. I yeah, we're you're... having a short auction tonight. Sharon, is it you that collects? Um. Um. Oh my God. Cloisonne. Cloisonne, right? You want the older Cloisonne? Because if you do, Doug has quite a few pieces of older cloisonne and not just those bangles, but he's got a bunch of different pieces he's going to have tomorrow night. Got little trinket boxes and. Yeah, he even has some trinket wider, boxes. Wider bracelets and some beautiful stuff. What you got here? Is that chert? What's that made out of? That's from Pakistan. Uh, I showed a rock a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't write it down. If I did, I have so many notes I can't find it. Uh, but this is an arrowhead uh, from a rock deposit in Pakistan, okay. India. And uh, no, don't make a spear and go out and. It's a meat. <laughs> uh, maybe it's good for good for wire wrapping. Maybe uh, it's Carolyn that collects the cloisonne. Or just yeah, starting it bit. Looks like bloodstone, Sharon. Yeah, it looks like kind of looks like bloodstone, with the reds and greens. Yeah, and it has been a uh, flinted. Mm -hmm. It's not North American. I will be bringing up next one that is actually from Missouri. And where do you want to start that one? That's cool. I think it's ought to be worth twenty. Okay. Especially sure if you're having an arrowhead collection and you have one of those uh, glass cases. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you got to be careful if you buy arrowheads because sometimes they are faked. So, um, if you find one that it's too cheap, then it's probably faked. So. 20 is not bad price for a real actual arrowhead. I don't know if I would agree that they're fake because a flint napper had to learn. I, I think right, but I mean, they're not native. They're not from, you know, they're not old. They're not, they weren't used. Well, most of the ones I have found out in the wild because uh, there was a farm that had been in my family a long time. And if it's perfect like this, it's been made in the 20th century, most likely. That one's cool. But having said that, this would be great, you know, for a macrame, wire wrapping. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. wrapping. So at the same price, I'm going to have one from Missouri. I sent it out this morning, Sharon. Everything except for a couple of new people that hadn't paid went out this morning. I think everything but three packages went out this morning. Hi, Elizabeth. Yours too, Elizabeth. Yours went out this morning. So this is actually the real size of arrowheads. That one's cool too. And uh, all kinds of different points. It depends on what they use them for. I've got blades. I've got, I'm going to have to dig those out. I've got some blades. I have a blade. I put it away tonight. I think I have a video. Of, so I went to see them. Uh, but this is normally what they would use because a head like this. It's just too heavy unless you use it for a spear. A spear, yeah. Yeah, that was probably on a spear, but yeah, that would be more there for like battle. 
for like shooting at somebody, those small ones, they can um, tie it onto something too. Because this okay. is from the Ozarks, it was probably used for hunting. I have a um, moss agate arrowhead that came from Tennessee from the Terrelateers. I've got some obsidian points too from Tennessee Terrelateers. The only oh. thing I have that looks like that is a shark's tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of We're just starting yeah. bid on that, Robert. Are you selling that one? Yeah, I was going to sell it for the same price. So okay, I'm sorry. That price I see was twenty, and there was no interest. But you'll see him again. Now, speaking of obsidian, I showed this in one of my videos. Oh my! Oh, my. that is oh, nice point. Yeah, and it, it is somewhat sh sharp. I have not tried to cut a steak with it, but uh, you might. <laughs> Yeah. I have one of those rounded kind that they use for like scraping a hide. Oh. And they're sharp. The edges are very sharp still and they're old. Oh, that would look nice, Robert. Yeah. And, and you could uh, chip it right here, chip it right there, wire wrap it, and make a lanyard out a, a lanyard out of lanyard. it. A lanyard. I, I would never try to chip it. Where are Same we going price. with that one? Okay. Same price. Awesome prices. Awesome prices. Yeah. You could use it for a cheese cutter. <laughs> Want to be a little barbaric? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope we never go back to those days. No kidding. All right. Let's see. <laughs> A stone that I should know, and I've forgotten the name. It is 925. We're going to start this one out at 50. And I just got one like this. It's got a stone above it. Oh, if you remember what that one is, let me know, because that looks like the one that is in the pendant I got from Vicky. No idea. This one? Yeah. Oh, I got it written down. I have one of those that I got in a copper wire wrapped pendant from Vicky, and I've never been able to figure out what it is, but it's that same kind of green color with the white mixed in with it. Serpentine? Yeah. It, it might be. Maybe. Serpentine. Um, it could be. I think I put my serpentine bird away. Uh, there's different grades. Uh, there, there's the darker green, more solid, but it does have some white in it. This one is a little bit translucent. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, the one I have is translucent like that. This has an open back. The bale is marked 925. It's on the inside. Pretty but thing. It does pass the scratch test. And it's got a little bit of a... Uh, Brown, right in the middle of it, like a heart. So you figured out how to use your kit. Oh yeah, I see oh, I that. See that. <laughs> That's cute. Yep. I didn't I'm see hoping, it at first. I see it now. I'm hoping that when it tests and it shows that red, that that's a good thing. That's cool. All right, here we go. This one's pretty pricey. Okay. I'm going to preview it at 75. Okay. Because the top stone has gold glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that. That is really weird. And then it's carnelian. It's another type of carnelian with no matrix. Wow. It's about two inches long. Got the 925. And I've almost got my iPad camera up and running. So cool, Robert. We'll there probably be doing a video on this stuff next week. That's dark. Yeah. 
Yeah, I forgot that green box was sitting here, and somehow it ended up knocking it off. And all the jewelry in it is all over the floor. <coughs> nice pendant. I like this one. And then we'll move on to this one for 35. Uh, this one is a 925 pendant with a what I call a brown garnet. Oh, Ooh. how did I? There's some fire in it. Oh, how I did that? Maybe I've been too close to the camera. Catch my light above. Sterling silver, probably an inch long from bail to bottom. Oh, Pamela, I got the brooch um, today that you gifted me from Roberta. It came in today. Thank you so much. I love it. Mm -hmm. His stuff is always unique, Sharon. I love it. Yeah, he always has some great stuff. His um, guy that he works with that he gets a lot of his stuff from, is uh, very into the geology, so he has some. <laughs> most of the stones that are in his pendants are really high quality stones. I heard him talk the other day. He's officially a archaeologist now. I guess he got his uh, PhD, wow. so he's nice. an archaeologist. He's not a geologist anymore. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I didn't keep it, Pamela. I sent it on. <laughs> Here we go. This is more reasonably priced. Oh, that's nice, Robert. What are we doing with this one? Oh, 35. And it's okay. uh, Pakistan, most likely. That's the Afghani or the Pakistan stuff? Yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> I believe it to be... Uh, Wrote turquoise. I believe this to be nickel plated brass from what I've been reading and studying lately. Look at how shiny it is. I know. Never been worn. Very pretty. And I do have a leather strap I could include. That would be nice. Leather on it. Pitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice size. Guy or gal. Yep. So, Ro, that bracelet or the thing you sent me with Phyllis on the tag, that's actually an ankle bracelet. And I'm putting it on. <laughs> not the not the amber. No, the one that says Phyllis. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, and it's older the one of those brooches i just sold was the same brand as this and it um it has one of those older slide style mm -hmm. um, spring rings i just don't know no phyllis now i do all right we're gonna have a coin alert all righty don't. coin alert don't put her jewelry on Cindy. there we go this is worth at least five dollars <laughs> anywhere in the world. These are still accepted by banks and grocery stores, and, but it comes in a nice little saving pack. We're going to start this at twelve. Okay. You can check the prices. Pam was asking you something, Robert. Robert, is the yeah. Byzantine coin real, did you say? The coin is real, and the cross is 925. There you go, Pamela. And I've only seen two. I don't think that many were made. And I have to have at least 50 plus shipping. I love the ruggedness of the cross. Uh, go to my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a close-up picture of it within the first or second video. It is a copper coin. 
it's a widow mite, which means this was giving to the poor when one of the loved ones died and paid for burial. Hi, 710. How are you? Let's see the 925. Email me. Cool. Back to the golden dollar. Okay. And we're doing these at 12. Uh, you can turn around and go to the coin laundry or the car wash. And they still accept these, but this would be a nice teaching tool. Mm -hmm. No, it's not gold. No, it's not silver. Uh, it's when they were doing the transition. So that's available. Just email. We're going to move right along to the last year when I was 10 years old. And I was told the world was falling apart because they were taking silver out of coinage. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. And so I was given a couple of these. As oh, excuse them. me. So I guess I was 12. Excuse me. I am so sorry. Bless right. you. You were given a couple as what? As a birthday present. Nice. And these have not tarnished or aged or been worn. If you were a member of a, a coin club, you could send these off for $16. They would certify them. And I'd be surprised if they didn't certify high grade. Now, the Kennedy is silver, the quarter is silver, and the dime is silver. I remember right, 1964 Kennedy was 90% silver and 1965 was 40% silver. Wow. Yeah, you can see the difference between those two years yeah. when you compare them side by side. They're almost perfect. Look them up on the internet. You'd be lucky to find them. They're probably almost uncirculated. Oh, they are uncirculated. Post this up here for a second. I can't read backwards, but this is what they were sent with. You've had those since you were 12? Yep. Wow. Now, where are you starting this? I'm going to start this at 30. Oh, cool. Wow. I have two of them. Roberta, I'll be right back. Okay, honey. I was lucky. A starting bid. A starting bid I put in there, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> bid. Yeah. This right. is an awesome Christmas gift for somebody. But so these nice. are. I'm not saying they're just for guys, but you know, for the guy that has everything. Yeah. I say it's a guy it. thing. I know girls like them too, but to me, it's a guy thing. That would be a nice guy gift. A so starter nice. kit. Yeah. Or so an addition. For either or. I probably ought to charge more for this one. This is 62. This is before anybody knew what was going on. Once again, it has the same disclaimer. It's tarnished, don't return it. We don't, the government doesn't really want to return your phone calls. Maybe I should read that better. If there should appear what may seem to you a defect or scratch on a coin, it is, no doubt, a crease in the packing material. We tell you this to save us both unnecessary correspondence. <laughs> 710 says, That was before. A coin collector. All right, there's 62. These are all in great shape, too. Same starting bid? How, what's your starting bid, Robert? Uh, the same. 30. No, I think you were 35. Oh, okay, yes. 
Sorry about that. That's fine. I know it's after Thanksgiving and uh, before the first of the month. I just thought I'd show you all some of the stuff that's uh, available. But we're going to do a ring lot. I found me a ring that actually fits me. And so I'd like to sell these that don't fit me. I'm going to do right. it either or on the rings. Let me get my mandrel out. We're going to start these at, let me see. Going to have to have 35. Okay. Each your choice. This is an eight and a half Kingman. Oh my. 35 for an eight and a half. Wow. This is a Onyx. I don't think it's an Onyx. I think it's, uh, it flashes. Usually they flash with a star in them. I'm not picking up the flash. Maybe I'm back here. No way. I can't see that, Robert. But the defining features. Hi, Angie. It's seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. But it is very nicely detailed. These are all sterling silver. Star, what does that say? Diopside? That di a diopside. Is that what it is? Yeah, it doesn't have the star in it. So it's not the best cut. I love the setting, though. Setting makes up for it. But it does have a, the flash in it. It just isn't, because I have one that shows the star, so. It 35 is. for choice, y'all. It was sold to me as Onyx, which obviously it's not. It's a beautiful ring. But. And so we're doing either or. And I wish this one fit me because. This is Rose uh, barbed wire spinner ring. That's a beautiful one. It's a great. I'm from Kansas City and. I've been to the barbed wire collection museum down when the river market was open. Mm -hmm. So we have that one. Uh, we have this one that I paid way too much for it. It's uh, man-made opals. Are these still and, 35, Robert? Yeah, they're all 35. Okay, your choice. Okay. I bought a, right. bought a nice ring tonight on one of my auctions that uh, I popped in for just a moment and just one of those deals nobody bid and I got it. <laughs> ring they had to have. That's right. It was meant to be, so I'm going to let these go. If I sell two of these, it'll pay for the one that I bought. All righty. Now, this is that uh, test. Up with. I'm not good at stones, Robert. You know that. I say it's pretty. Yeah. It's not lapis. It's the other one. It's the. Um, let me let me take a look at it close up. Labradorite. There you go. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> and I was getting stuck on lapis. Labradorite, that's pretty. I think pretty. I know Labradorite by now. No, we're all, we're all uh, turkey-itis. <laughs> we all have turkey-itis. <laughs> all right, and this one's a pretty good size because it fits me. $35 for that beautiful ring. Look at the band oh. around it. It's almost 12. I probably ought to show it. Wow. That's a pretty one. I don't mind keeping it. You all like the others. And what's the last one? 
it's the one I can't sell because it's a brown stone. But it's okay. it, it, I've offered I'm it. I'm having a problem with the brown stone um, pendant. Nobody seems to want. I think they're lovely. Look at the work on this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Hello. Okay. Some beautiful thirty-five dollar rings here, Cindy. Yeah, I'm taking a loss. But if I sell two, I've got a real keeper. What is that one? Well, I've shown it before. Oh. It's got that uh, panoramic um, agate in it. I don't think anybody's buying it because it's brown, but it's pawn. Is it sterling? Mm -hmm. yep. oh. Yes, it is. I'm Somebody said kyanite. Did you have a kyanite out there? Let's do a quick review. Okay. No, it was a. Um, my puppy's going to bark again. Hey, oh, Lou. It was Raider, a Labradorite. Yeah, it was a Labradorite. Um, Lou Raider might be having an auction with us here in a couple weeks. All righty. Cool. Um, right there. Look at the size of the band that on that. One, Robert? What? What size is that one? Uh, these last two fit me. Which means on a good day, they're 11. On a bad day, they're 12. Oh, that's my fingers. Uh, this is 11 and three quarters. Oh, the man. size of the band on that. Yeah, I was hoping that was like a 10 or under. Well, I could probably find you one somewhere. This one's 11 and a half. Let's see what and size I can fit on my thumb. <laughs> if I don't sell it, I'm going to do a video on trying to Get that stone out of there. So I got ah. this stone, stone that almost. So it is a natural kyanite? No, it wasn't. It was labradorite. Oh, labradorite. Somebody said kyanite. I'm trying to figure out what they were talking about kyanite. Okay. Beautiful labradorite. I wish that were about a size smaller. I'd be in on it. I think it's gorgeous. What size was the other one? This pop quiz. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't take that quiz. stone out, Robert, because the right person's going to want that stone in it. It's been a year. Well, if you claim that silver, that stone mm -hmm. is going to pop. Its stone's not going to look as dark. It's 11 and a half. Fits me on a good day. <laughs> Okay, so we've talked about the rings. Not showing any interest. Let's fly by with uh, Kingman. Got something like that in the ten and a half. Look at that one. They can deal. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. Well, I'm taking notes. There's the Bob Wire from Roberta. Because I'm a Kansas City guy, but my littlest finger. It's a little bigger. But if I size it then it won't spin no more oh no it won't you can't size it robert you gotta yes and then this one i've had a while and i paid too much for it because although it is man-made opal storing silver really cool i don't mind wearing it uh, but as soon as i'd sell it to somebody they'd go me yeah i've got the one that I've got two that are cut in the back. Okay. Well, I only wanted to be on here an hour tonight. Well, how, how deep are we into this? Um, we are. We're not quite an hour yet. Okay. Here's a nice uh, abalone. Going to have to have at least. Uh, boy, I hate to part with it for less than 35, but 35. Okay. That's a spectacular oh, abalone. Look at that oh, color in there. Beautiful purples in there. That is pretty. 
Anybody want to come in at 35 on that? I think everybody has uh, auctioned out this weekend, maybe. Well, auctioned out or turkeyed out. Turkeyed out. It's more like it. Turkeyed and auctioned out, yeah. Can um, I see the back of that, Robert? Do what? Can I see the back of that, please? Yes. It's not polished, but it's not layered. It's. Oh, I see. Yeah. I get this iPad camera working next week. Look out. Uh-oh. That's cool. Are you on your phone now it's... or a camera? Do I? Are you on, on your phone now or a camera? I'm on my laptop camera right now. Gotcha. But my iPad, I hit a certain button today. Because you know, I'm playing, making movies and uh it was just oh, like everything was suddenly huge. That's okay, gorgeous. for the same price. Lapis, sterling silver. Oh, I can't do it at the same price. Let's start this at 50 because it's got a maker's mark. It's a Navajo. Okay. CB Ooh. Sterling. Let me see if I can find that maker for you. Lapis. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Nice piece of lapis. Uh, probably an inch and a quarter, if I remember right. I like the shape of it. Inch and a half. It's an old one. Yep. And remember, next year, or just before Christmas, if it's before December 18th, we can probably get them delivered. Just email me. I know a lot of people are on the road traveling, visiting folks. Not if a lot of the mayors can help it. Yeah. No comment. We no have. No comment. That's right. What happened today? You know, I live across the street from CVS. They brought in a um, testing pod for COVID, and it's like a, a six by 10. It's got two doors. One says entrance, patients, entrance, uh, the physicians. It's got an air conditioner, but it has no exit. And nobody in the neighborhood is happy. I knocked myself out. Oops. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Charlie Bowie, maybe? I've got a rich I don't down. know. I have no clue. I'll get back with you. All right, moving on. This is silver. It's got a mark. It's a bracelet. Mm. Starting bit. No, I got it here. There it is. It's soft. It has not been used so much that it's it's in there. I guess seen it. And it has been worn because it's not perfectly formed. If it's you been need loved, it's been loved, Robert. Been loved and polished. <laughs> and I could love it. It's me. Cool. What's your starting bid? Same fifty. Alrighty. At least that much sterling in it, and it's been hammered, it's been polished, it's marked, no native mark. Nice. Very nice. And this is something that if I flatten the top a little bit, I could mount a stone on it. Mm. Nice. So, that looks like a larger size, too. What's your starting bid on that? 50. 50? It was 50. I'm trying to do these in a same price range so, that, so I can jump in. Well, it's three watching. Thank you so much, everyone. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you, everybody. For coming. This is kind of spontaneous, unadvertised, and uh, we're glad you're here. 
Now these are gold on 925 earrings. Okay. All three pairs are 12.1 grams. And let's see, I don't know. I haven't tried doing this one on this. These are this type of. Uh, okay. And all three pair. I'll start these at 35 just because. Uh, this pair number one. Nice. Nice hammered look. So this is choice of or all three pairs I've for what three. price? Thirty-five? Yeah. We we'll do all th three. Three for one price. All right. Good good price on those. Now, That's right. They're pretty. Put them in a box. Gold plated over sterling. What do I know? Because this is how I got them in the mail. Wow. Cindy's in at 35. Ooh. Why not? We're talking what? That's well, a pretty good price for him. It certainly is. Mm hmm. There's two of those. Cute, cute. Nice size. Yeah, they're kind of small. Not really. They're nice size. And the last pair is snoring. Now that we're even, finally, Robert, I can uh, bed. <laughs> I like those. I too. like those. I like that shape. Yeah, these are nice. <laughs> Raven, <laughs> you'll probably see them again, <laughs> Raven. One way or another, you probably will get them off of me. Yeah. Nice. They'll make the rounds. These are nice. I like buying like that because then I can keep a pair and sell the rest. Mm -hmm. That's right. Any other interest on these, y'all? I'd probably keep those. They I really do like those. Yeah, I like those. Those yeah. kind of remind me a little bit of your disco ball earrings, bro. <laughs> We're going to go once. Very nice. Nobody's going to challenge me. We're awesome. Are you in, twice? Carla? I'm wearing, I can't remember whether this bracelet I'm wearing came from you or from Ruth. And that big lot of jewelry, you both sent me a big lot of jewelry, but I actually lost it and I was heartbroken. And I was going through my box of brooches and I found it in that box. So somehow I think when I was digging in that box, I caught the clasp on something and it opened up and dropped in that box. So oh, I was so happy to find it yesterday. All right, I'm going to sell this if it's okay, Robert. It's okay with me. Okay, it's it lost sold to it. Cindy for 35 Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Robert. I spy. And they look nice. I'd wear them for a while. They're not going to wear. That gold doesn't wear out. You take care of it. Thank you, thank you. Well, there was some interest in one of these that I sold the other day. And I just happened to run into one. And I sold the other one too cheap. No. So I had to pay more for this one. I hate when that happens, Robert. I know. Oops. I, I think this went to Jackie and she was going to make something out of it. No, me and... Um, or maybe Gianna. Me and Gianna fought over it. <laughs> well, here's another one. Because I wanted it to replace the pearls on a brooch that I have. I don't think these seed pearls are as big. Yeah, they. I didn't want big ones. Uh, but that is, uh, I'm positive that that is uh, at least gold plated, if not hollow gold. 
it mm -hmm. seems to be made by the same. And if you do a single strand, you know. So are you, Robert. It is. <laughs> Can't What's your starting off? bid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my starting bid. What did I sell that other for? I'm going to start these at 35 and try to break even. All righty. Dang, I'd love to, but it's a little out of my price range tonight. Dang it. What is your price range? I don't know. We'll talk about it. Maybe we can swap something later. Make me an offer. Maybe we can goad somebody into bidding. <laughs> um, I'm staying out of it. <laughs> okay. I'll look up and see what I paid for it. I don't remember. I hadn't got that. Before. Yeah, I don't want to give you less than you paid for it. So we'll we'll talk about it later because I do want the pearls. I plan it. if I get it, I'm going to take it apart. So well, don't I'd take don't jewelry apart. Them, I only need about I think maybe fifteen to eighteen pearls. I'd probably take it apart if I could keep the gold because I'm getting ready to do my mom's uh, necklace. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Cool. All right. Yeah, they, they might be sharing. So, yeah, look and see what you pay for them first and maybe we'll trade something. Here we go. Do you really, Elizabeth? That would be nice, too. Are we entertaining everyone tonight? We always do, Robert. We Elizabeth, always do. You're doing next Saturday, right? For stills and deals. I'll get uh -huh. with you in the next couple of days to let you know what all you need to do to prepare for that. Thanks, Sharon. Got her. Get a hold of Elizabeth. She's got some that's already been uh, freed from their previous uh, dilemma. So you don't have to wreck jewelry. Yeah, somebody might want that someday. Well, I hate to wreck it, but I'm trying to save a brooch that I really like, but it's missing some pearls. So because I can't match the pearls that's on it, I'm going to take all of the pearls off of it and replace them with real freshwater pearls or rice pearls or something like that. I sold you that brooch. I think that came in a bag or something. It was mine at one time. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I did a lot or what. Yeah, I think it was a lot I bought off of you. What you got there, Robert? 925. Mm -hmm. Wonderful bail. Starting bid 45. Okay about an inch and a quarter from bail to bottom a lap is with pyrite sure is i see that pyrite shine well, that's a nice piece of pyrite in lapis there beautiful color on that nice bail i like it as you can see i'm getting into my personal stash because i haven't gotten anything lately oh um, I have gotten very little. Robert's dipping into his personal stash. Well, mm -hmm. I have some mm -hmm. stuff coming this week, hopefully. So, but uh, we, I do have new stuff for this Sunday though that I just got in. But I will have another silver lot coming in this week sometime. Very little. I kind of take turns. One week I go all local and find stuff, and the next week I online shop. Got Sharon interested in it for 45. Thank you, Sharon. It reminds me. I wonder if they accepted my offer. She likes that pyrite too, Robert. Oh, she does? Mm -hmm. Cool. She I said, come back that. here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a little <laughs> way up. Payment. Yours went out um, this morning too. Anybody else want to come in for 46? If not, I'm going to go going once to Sharon for 45. 
if that's all right with you, Robert. Yes, it is. All right. So loot looks like Loot Raider is in. So not next Saturday, but the following Saturday, we'll be hosting Loot Raider for an auction. Okay. Great. We're going to go ahead and do a fair warning. Loot Raider is new to our community. So what a great way to welcome them. Get to know some wild and crazy people. Can I sell this, Robert? Sure. Thanks, Sharon. We are going to call this soul to Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Robert. Yep. I appreciate it. Sharon, really I would be happy to do that as That's soon as I we think. get off here. Uzile. Let me pull it right now. She wants me to send you the info, Robert, and I'll be happy to. That's fine. I just want to make sure I've got it handy right here. Now you got a hold of me, I think. I do, Robert. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a bling bling that I uh, I haven't got it completely cleaned up, and I don't know how much I want to. I got you, Sharon. Got it. I'm going to start this off at a hundred dollars. Alrighty. Which is what I paid for it. And it looked like it had been uh, stuck oh in the mud and run over by a truck. How'd you get it so pretty? I uh, took class 101, Roberta's polishing class. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nice. Roberta's polishing class. <laughs> It's been yeah. very interesting. I've learned a lot about polishing. You should do a master class on cleaning your jewelry. We get a lot of questions about that, so why not? That's pretty. That's yeah, real pretty. Did you look that up, Robert? What? Did you do some tickling of the keys on that? Look I it up at all? Uh oh. No, I'm kind of one of those that uh, I kind of know what it's worth. Mm -hmm. It's worth 300 but the gorgeous the, the Kingman stones in them aren't quite like what I recognize because Kingman is usually indented and these are raised and when I cleaned it up with the uh, secret solution. The secret solution. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't mind wearing this for a while because I have some rings that go with it. Well, one day I'm going to be a little richer than I am right now. <laughs> and I might buy it from you. All right. That's beautiful. In the meantime. You better wear it. I'll show you another one I found that I did not polish. All righty. And I'm going to have to have 150 on it. Okay. Because it is marked. I can't quite make that out with my eyes, but. E L. It's Rilla or Bill uh, Sterling, and it's got a maker stamp. Yep, I see that. But look at that stone. That is a real one. I know for sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Because it has the indentations in it. Beautiful work too. I love the design. That's why I didn't polish this one. Oh, I would have had to wreck it a little bit. <laughs> well, I don't know. It matches a ring I have that fits. It's in the other room, but. That's pretty. Yeah, see, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. 
Very, very nice. Any interest on these beautiful bracelets? It is Christmas time. Yes, it is. And if you email me, these will be the starting prices, and I'll probably do a video. I don't know. I've been trying to decide how to do it. I've been getting pretty good response within about four or five days. So if I post these, then we'll probably give it a week and, and send it to my email. Well, I'm about to run out of stuff because I was hustling around doing other things today. But for the guys that need Christmas presents from their gals, I didn't approve this with you all, but it's safe to ship. It's not going to hurt you. I've checked with UPS and the post office. And as long as I wrap this, I, uh, Ooh. Wow. I have restored this. You can see at one time it was all well loved. And it's Damascus steel. I did a video on these. I usually wipe them down in beeswax. They do have to be maintained because uh, they have a high carbon content, low stainless steel. But look at that design. That's beautiful. And I redid the handle. It's got a little maker's mark there. I have not been able to research it. This is brass. This is brass. And it is legal carry, which means it fit in your purse if you got in a tight spot or needed to clean your fingernails. Uh, I have awesome. a couple of three of these, and these are $100 a piece. Wow. Let me get that. I don't know which one I want to keep. I think I want to keep this one, but. What an awesome job you did. The green is Marcotta. The red, is, these are all Brazilian woods. Uh, this is uh, zebra wood. And oh, by the way, I used to uh, be in the martial arts and I collected a lot of uh, African wood before. It was prevented from being shipped into the States. And so I can cut you some billets or different lengths if you do inlay or pins or stuff. So. That's beautiful. I'm not a knife person, but if I was, I know my granddaughter would like it. She, my brother gave her her first knife. She yeah. whittles, Robert. She whittles all over the deck. <laughs> I used to whittle. I probably to wouldn't whittle. use this for whittling. I'd probably use this just for a, a keepsake. Mm -hmm. I would get, get a high, higher stainless steel. I'll go into that sometime in the next few weeks. But uh, for anybody that makes uh, leather sheaths, I've got a couple of knives that I need some sheaths made for. I could send you the design and dimensions. So... With all the auctions going on tonight and all the uh, food I ate yesterday, and I think I'm going to uh, see if everybody wants to come to the front and call it a night. I know I'm going to be calling it a night zone. If I caught Cindy sleeping, we'll keep showing some things. I'm not sleeping. I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm showing my last item and bring us all up and now. Uh, We'll go see uh, Doug and Vanessa tomorrow night and support them. Yes, indeed. All right. Everybody's got such great stuff. Robert, all of that was beautiful. All we of it was seen. beautiful. Look at there. Oh, that goes with that. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Set. It certainly does. Set. Oh, they're both. Um, one should have been a set of earrings. Oh, well. What are you going to um, start that on? I'm going to put it in there. That ring. I know. I was. I haven't priced it yet, but I know it's worth thirty-five. Cause it's oh, got a marking on the back, which you can't see. Very nice. This was kind of off the cuff tonight. I, I kind of knew Sandy might not be here, but uh. 
It was like an hour before it was ready. <laughs> what size is that, Robert? Uh, it looks to me a five. Let's see. I'm sure, it's pretty. I still don't have my sizes down yet. It's a seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters, and it is sterling. Is sterling's got leaves and uh spheres. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth, it's sterling. That is gorgeous. Yeah, this is a very nice abalone. It's got a fits very comfortably. Split shank, beautiful flat uh, leaves. I like that. And it is thirty-five dollars, gals. Which is a giveaway price. It is a giveaway price, Robert. I don't know if I want to look it up and see what I paid for it last week. That's a pretty one. And it can be stretched up a little bit, but probably not shrunk down unless you want to flatten it and make it into an oval. Robert, Pamela would like the cross with the coin for 50 please. Pamela Drain. Pamela Drain. <clears throat> Thank you very hey, much, Pamela. Pamela. That is a pretty one. Uh, it is historical. Historical. I like that ruggedness of the cross. I like the story behind it. <clears throat> very nice. Yeah. All right, Elizabeth, Pam. all you have to do is text them, email them. Yeah. I'm not doing any sales for the next couple of weeks. So... It'll be here. Pamela. Pamela Drain. Yeah. You got Beautiful it. Beautiful piece. Got a mark on the bottom there, proving it's silver. And that is a Byzantine coin. That's a copper coin. And you can buff the top a little bit if you want a little copper to come through. But it's yours. Do you have her info? Yes. Okay, good. I was yeah. going to pull it. Yep. And pull it and send it with Sharon's. <clears throat> Very nice. Thank you so much, Pamela. Okay. I'm going to call it a night. It's 10 o'clock and I'm getting old. <laughs> I can't do. I am old. I'm not getting old. I'm, I am old. <laughs> I am old and I'll be older tomorrow. <laughs> but I'll have some other stuff coming up. Robert, that stuff was gorgeous. It really was. Thank you. Did we lose our sense in? No, I'm here. No, she's here. Right, she wants me to keep going. I'm going to go and strike. <laughs> Tired. Robert wants to call it a night. <laughs> Pull us up. <laughs> I'll show my kitty. My little kitty box. Oh, that was a pretty right, too. Here, here. here. Good night, Pam. Uh, this one's eighty dollars, so I'm getting the pricey range for this time of the month. Well, let me throw my starting bid out there. Eighty for this lapis, beautiful lapis. And I even throw a chain in. I can untangle it. Ta-da! Snake chain. This is really nice. This is well worth a hundred dollars. Mm. I know. I should use the Archimedes and use gravity to drop it. <laughs> That's what I have to there do. My eyes. <laughs> my eyes don't work anymore. Yeah. Looky there. That's a pretty one. That's a good size one. That's why I have to have 80. Oh, yeah. Nice. Lobster claw. Got 925 little tag there. Brand new chain. It's all brand new. Well, the stone's not brand new, but it was probably made a few thousand years ago. Oh, let's see. 
I haven't used this lately. Look at that. 18 inch chain. Nice. Pyrite. There is a pirate. I can see it. The bale is engraved. Christmas yeah. is coming, folks. And a blue is your birthstone. This will fit right in. Blue is one of the most popular colors, I believe, outside of purple. That's pretty. I like the band, yeah. Blue and red, you get purple. It is Pamela, isn't it? It was. All this stuff was very pretty. Gorgeousness. I love the square. You know I love the square ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the hardest ones to uh, set because the angles on the corners. Yeah, I would imagine. See, I Everyone. wouldn't have known that. Everyone? These are things that I had planned on selling uh, probably the end of January after the Christmas holidays. I know everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome, Pamela. Early and everybody wants to support everybody. So send me an email. I think uh, Cindy, Sharon, and Pamela got pretty good buys tonight. I want to thank you all for doing Yes, they did. And I appreciate you, Robert. It's been a good night. Thank you very much. Now, if we can get Cindy stopping typing. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Putting us up. Robert wants to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me. Um, Bedtime. I got a movie to watch. Three movies this week. Sorry, weekend. I just got my uh, email got blasted, like since we were on earlier. So I was trying to answer like 10,000 emails. Um, yes, yeah, guys, thank you all for coming. I appreciate you being here. And I know it was kind of impromptu, but uh, we'll, we'll put a little more advertisement into it. But the next Saturday, we have Steals and Deals. So the Saturday after that, we will be having an auction with um, Robert and um, Loot Raider, I think, will be up. Oh, so and like this, this Saturday is um, this, well, tomorrow. Doug and it, Vanessa. Doug and Vanessa. Then the following Saturday is Stills and Deals with Elizabeth. And then, of oh, course, every Sunday okay. is Bert and I. And... Um, so hopefully it will be, um, you know, it will move a little quicker next time because it won't be right after a holiday and we'll, we'll get the word out there a little bit better for you, Robert. But uh, thank you guys. Uh, at least we sold something though, right? That's right. We like, auctions this we weekend. We like 400 views and within 24 hours. Yeah. That's and uh, obviously, yeah, if you're one of the people that view it later and you see something that you want to purchase, just um, give email or give Robert a um, email. I will put up his banner real quick before we get off so you can find him. Um, let me put that for up until we get off. So if you want to email him about something you saw, you can send it to there and, um, you know, work out a deal with him via email. But thank you guys for coming. And again, everybody's stuff has been shipped. And I see a couple of them that I held have since paid. So I'll go ahead and get those out in the morning. But pretty much everybody that was in the chat tonight, your stuff had been shipped this morning. So on its way. And yay, I'm officially caught up. <laughs> Me too. Yay. Very, very good. I yeah, flap on yeah. That. I was sweating it. I was I was way much further behind than I liked than I'm comfortable with. So I've got anyway, everybody that's paid but, gone too. <clears throat> Everybody's I out. Some people are already getting this stuff. Oh. Some people are what? Already, already. getting this stuff. Yeah. yeah, the mail seems to be moving a little faster. Oh, you have one of those boxes with the yellow in it too. It huh? is from Vanessa. Uh, so I want a little wiener dog in it. This oh. must be. I, you know what? I think one she sent me has yellow inside it too. But 
They must oh. be from the same maker because they all have that same yellow color enamel in there. So I'm okay, curious. My precious little, little those. sparkly wiener dog. That's just too cute. And you know you got a so bit of charm adorable. bracelet, Rose, so you can wear it those. It goes on a it goes on a Pandora, I bet. Pandora. I have well, a Pandora. That, you gotta my wear baby. Pandora then. That's I keep just him cool. in the little kitty jar. Okay, guys, we won't keep you all, but thank you all for coming. And I did get out um, most of the giveaways. I think I still have one or two giveaways that I need to get out, but I'll get those out in the next day or two. So thank you, guys. We will see you tomorrow night with Doug and Vanessa. That's going to be fun, even if you don't um, want to purchase or you can't purchase. Just come in anyway. You don't please have come to and purchase. have fun. Yeah, yeah have, come fun. And have fun because we really do. Um, we enjoy having you guys in. It's like the best part of my day. It really is. I really enjoy just getting to talk to you all, all of you guys. Me it's a too. lot of fun. I think I'm on here three days a week, four yeah. days a week. <laughs> Hold on, Pamela Drain said, "Robert, I would like the sixty-two coins." I got I don't it. Know what Okay. Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. Pamela Drain. That's a nice gift for somebody, Pamela. Let's confirm. Did I say 35 or 30? I don't remember. You'll have to go back and look. I, Pam, I can't remember. I can't go back on this one. I know the war <laughs> coins you said 35, but I don't remember what you said on those. I might have been out of the room when you Two did that. The the, if it was 35 on them, it was the same on both. I do remember that. <clears throat> we got Excuse you, Pamela Drain. Thank you, Miss Pamela. Thank you Pamela. so much, Pamela. Just, yeah, those are a um, nice set that he has. I can't believe you're giving up one you had since you were 12, though. Yeah. Oh, no. There's something else I want. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, there's a method now to the Now the story comes out. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> the story comes out. Okay, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow night. Please have a safe um, rest of your weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow. That's right. Be Stay blessed safe. and know right. that Jesus loves you. Love you all. Good Love night. Good thank things. you, Robert. Give thank thanks you to everybody. All right. Tomorrow's. Tomorrow's. <laughs> tomorrow is tomorrow. Yeah, I got to work in the morning too. So I'm well, going to actually get to bed early tonight. Isn't that awesome? I'm glad we cut her off early then. <laughs> Good night, guys. Night. Love you.